Uh, welcome to the plus add-on tutorial. Today we're gonna demonstrate parallax background, which is the subpart of row background widget. You can set up the row background widget, and then there will be three main layers: deep layer, middle layer, and top layer. You can get more information about this in our main row background video, where we have explained every layers and everything in the detail. But for the parallax section, if you go to the section, you have different kind of options. For example, in this, we have used magic scroll option, which gives nice parallax effect. You can see, just focus on this particular image. You can see the magic scroll effect, even on this image. You can do that by going to middle layer and choosing the option modern image effect. In the modern image effect, you can add multiple images and then there is options for the positions, left, right, top and bottom, as well as the width of that particular image. The same thing will be available for tablet and mobile and you can turn it on or off if you need that. If you don't need to turn it on in the tablet for example then it will take desktop's value by default and if you change it to in the mobile you can turn it on and then you can select your all the values the width and so all these values will take in mobile only the desktop version's value will be this so you also have the width option opacity option then there is the option for the image effects there are four different image effects which you can use and you can select the duration time as well then the most important thing is magic scroll uh, about the magic scroll you can see over another video where we have explained magic scroll in de detail but if you already know about that you can choose all the options here for the initial value final value offset and the duration which will give this section a nice parallax effect and on the top of that you can put the continuous effect which we which you can select from the image effects also we have the option for the z index for example on this another image if you will put the z index right now you can see the text above the image and if you put the z index value 99 the image will be on the text so z index you can use this way for your different layouts and you can use it creatively as you want then there is the fixed background option you can see here in the example so in the in that case in the deep layer you need to select the creative background image from there you need to upload the image you can select the position and in the attachment you need to select the fixed to get this parallax effect the image will be stay fixed in your background then you have the another option like repeat or cover the background size and everything so you can select those styles Right. After that, you have one parallax effect which is on scroll on hover parallax effect. For this style, again, you need to select the creative background image in the deep layer, and from that, you need to select the attachment fixed. In the background effect, you need to select the normal background image. Now, on the special image hover effect, you need to select parallax move effect, and that will give this kind of effect. You have the intensity option, scale options. Like, for example, if you want to scale while doing this effect, you can do that from here. Also, you have the inverted option, that means the intensity and will be inverted. So, this is the parallax option, then there is the 3D effect which you can do again 
using the creative background image and from that in a spatial image hover effects you just need to select the parallax tilt effect again there are lots of options to play with the intensity of parallax perspective scale so using that you can create this kind of parallax effect if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below or you can connect with us using our support center hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on parallax background and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video